بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد The path of seeking the knowledge طلب العلم as we mention on many occasions and as our ulama have mentioned for us that طلب العلم is طلب الجنة that seeking the knowledge is seeking paradise and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with paradise and bless us all to be of those who seek knowledge sincerely. And we're all aware of the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, about those people who, who fought and were martyred for the sake other than Allah. And those people who strove to seek the knowledge for other than Allah. And those people who spent in a cause other than to spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that they were all thrown in the fire because they did it in the name of Islam as if they were uh, it showed their lack of sincerity, that they weren't doing those things to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah will call them liars and drag them, and their faces will be thrown, dragged into the hellfire. And so we are aware that we it, seeking knowledge requires sincerity. And as with any deeds in Islam... Those two conditions apply. The two conditions are what? For having our deeds accepted, first and foremost, al-ikhlas, sincerity to Allah, and that we do it in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And I wanted to mention an important aspect that we must try to observe when seeking the knowledge. And that is having good manners, adab. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in many hadith, spoke about the importance of having good manners. The Prophet ﷺ said, مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَثْكُلُ فِي مِيزَانَ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامِ مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُغِذُ الْفَحِشِ الْبِرِي The Prophet ﷺ said, there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer than good manners, and verily Allah hates sinful and wicked speech. And the Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ يِرِدُ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يُفَقَهُ فِي الدِّينَ Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. And that fiqh fi deen, that wisdom, that insight, that basira, that knowledge, is not just comes from memorizing. Because we know people, we know people who are considered scholars even, who memorize. But yet, the problem is, is their manners. They curse this one. They make takfir of this one. They call this one an innovator without the right to do so, without the haq to do so. And this is a mistake. And this shows a lack of fiqh fideen and a lack of good manners and weakness in their iman. This isn't, their iman is not camel because they're not illustrating the full aspect of Islam and it shows weakness in their, in their iman and their faith. And the salaf were very very serious about manners and about seeking the knowledge. وَكَانَ السَّلَفَ الصَّالِحِ إِذَا أَرَادَ طَلَبَ الْعِلْمِ وَظَنُّوا أَنفُسِهِمْ بِالْآدَبِ الْكَرِيمَةِ عَلَتِي تُحَبَّبَهُمْ إِلَى صُدُورُ الْعُلَمَاءِ So the ulama, uh, the, the salaf of this ummah, رضي الله تعالى عنهم, when, if they wanted to seek knowledge, they would work themselves and practice and train themselves with good manners so that they would be uh, able to accept the knowledge from the scholars and that they would have love for the ulama. Their hearts would be open to the ulama and the ulama would accept them as well as students. This is something we're missing. I personally know many individuals, wallahu musta'an, who've went to seek knowledge in various places around the world in this country, in this university, and that markaz is sunnah, in this place and that place. But you sometimes wonder, what did that individual gain? Did they gain real, did they really do talab al-ilm? Did they do talab al-jannah? Did they come out with more taqwa? Did they fear Allah at least a little bit more than when they didn't memorize and when they didn't ha know some of those masail and when they didn't uh, have some itqan and they didn't read some of the Qur'an or what have you, or hif shame in a Qur'an. Because there should be an effect upon your deeds. As the ulama, they say,
العمل ثمرات العلم أو كما قال أو كما قيل So the scholars they say that the deeds are the fruits of knowledge So meaning that when we seek knowledge it should have some effect on our character and our conduct And I believe it was related on Umar ibn al-Khattab that it took him, I think it was 10 years to memorize Baqarah. And that the tariqah, the salaf of, of the sahaba is that they would memorize 10 ayats and practice it, then they would go to the next one. So they weren't eager to just memorize, but they were eager to practice because they knew what the, the punishments were with, with that knowledge, which comes with that knowledge. Well, that the more knowledge they sought, the more they would be held responsible. The more knowledge they, they sought, the more that they knew and had knowledge about the hellfire and what was an obligation upon them and what was prohibited and etc. So this shows us the importance of wanting to practice and, and learning to work, uh, to, uh, let there be some light from our deeds. Qalat um Imam Malik ibn Anas rahimahullah ta'ala لما ألبسته الإمامة وأمرته 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 أن يذهب إلى المجلس ربيع بن عبد الرحمن قالت له أي بني اجلس مع الربيع وخذ من أدبه ووقاره وخشوعه قبل أن تخذ من علمه this was a statement narrated on about the mother of Imam Malik radiyallahu rahmatullah alayhi rahmatun wasi'ah that she said to Imam Malik when he was young and she had him wear his imama on his head like a turban and she commanded him that he should go sit with Rabi ibn Abdurrahman. And she said to him, O oh my son, sit with Rabi and take from him his manners and his sedateness or his, his, his dignified manner and his khushur his concentration, his humility, before you take his knowledge, showing that the tariq of the salaf was to practice knowledge and was to improve their manners and to be better Muslims by gaining ilm with fiqh fi deen. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who obtain ilm al nafi ruskan tayyibah wa amal al mutakabbilin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم